Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today's Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. Yes, we are in March now. This is March. We're kicking off with college basketball. Then we'll do NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball spring training, soccer, golf, news and notes, and best bet. We're going to start college basketball because, like I said, this is March. In the words of the great John Rothstein, we'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead. To a busy stay, or slate for today. Um, Sun Belt first round: Arkansas State over Coastal Carolina, eighty six sixty nine. Number six: Marquette over Butler, seventy two fifty six. Number thirteen: Virginia over Clemson, sixty four fifty seven. Iowa upsets number fifteen: Indiana, ninety sixty eight. Patriot League first round: American over Bucknell, sixty four fifty nine. Patriot League first round: Loyola Maryland over Holy Cross, seventy three sixty nine. Rise League first round: Robert Morris over IUPUI, sixty seven sixty four. Prize League first round, Wright State over Green Bay, 77-57. Um, Prize League first round, Detroit over Purdue Fort Wayne, 60 or 81-68. A-Sun quarterfinal, Liberty over Bellarmine, 76-56. A-Sun quarterfinal, Eastern Kentucky over North Alabama, 73-48. A-Sun quarterfinal, Kennesaw State over Queens, 67-66. A-Sun quarterfinal, Lipscomb over Stetson, 83-70. Duke over NC State, 71-67. Georgia Tech over Syracuse, 96-76. BC over Wake, 71-69. NJIT loses to New Hampshire, 59-58. UMBC over Binghamton, 70-67. In overtime, Maine over Bryant, 66-64. And Vermont over Albany, 79-61. And that's in that conference. Um, Florida over Georgia, 77-67. BC over St. Louis, 79-67. Dayton over LaSalle, 77-53. Toledo over Central Michigan, 99-65. Bowling Green over Eastern Michigan, 88-68. Kent State over Ohio, 82-75. Miami of Ohio over Western Michigan, 77-62. Akron over Ball State, 87-83. Buffalo over Northern Illinois, 85-75. Sun Belt first round, Texas State over Georgia State, 81-76. Villanova over Seton Hall, 76-72. Number three, Kansas over Texas Tech, 67-63. Number 12, Tennessee over Arkansas, 75-57. Boise State. Over number 18, San Diego State, 66-60. Number 24, Texas A&M over Ole Miss, 69-61. Tarleton over Southwest Assembly of God, 110-45. Virginia Tech over Louisville, 71-54. Michigan over Nebraska, 80-67. Mississippi State over South Carolina, 74-68. New Mexico over Fresno State, 94-80. And San Jose State over Colorado State, 63-46. All right, tonight's slate. Um, 6 o'clock, Big South first round from the Bow in Charlotte. You have Charleston Southern and High Point. My projection is High Point 5.3, total 147 and 17 twentieths. And we have here High Point by... One and a half, total 154 and a half. Um, I'm going to take the under. Number 19, Xavier at number 20, Providence. You could argue game of the night on Fox Sports 1. My line's Providence 2.5, total 152 and 11 20s, and it's 3.5 and 154 and a half. I'll take a slight under. Auburn at number 2, Alabama on ESPN 2. My line's Bama 9.5, total 145 and a fifth. And it's 9.5 and, and 151 and a half. Um, I'll take the under gladly. The Paul at number 14, UConn on CBS Sports Network. My line is UConn 17.8 to the 146 and a 10. And it's 17 half and 147 and a half. Um, very close. I'll take a slight under. Number 21, Maryland at Ohio State. Big 10 network. My line is Maryland by 3 to the 138. And it's 1 half and 137. Very close. Slightly in Maryland. Vandy at number 23, Kentucky on the SEC network. My line is Kentucky 12.3 to the 143 and a 20th. And it's 9 half and 146 and a half. Um, I'll take the under. Number 25, Pitt at Notre Dame. On ESPN, New my lines, Pitt for, and, uh, for fifth total 142 and seven. I'm sorry, nine twentieths. And it's four and a half and 142 and a half. Very close. Um, so very, 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 very slightly in the pit. Northeast quarterfinal, LIU, Merrimack. My lines, Merrimack 18-3, total 134. And... Three fifths and a seventeen half and one three two and a half. Um, I'll take the over. Safe friend Brooklyn Fairleigh Dickinson. 
NEC quarterfinal, Mons Dickinson by four total 142. And we have Dickinson by eight and a half, total 143 and a half. Um, I'm going to take St. Francis, Brooklyn, getting the points. Central Connecticut and St. Fran, Pennsylvania. Northeast quarterfinal. Mount St. Fran, PA by 7, total 141 and a tenth. And it's 2.5 and, and 142.5. I'll take St. Fran, PA minus the points. Wagner, Sacred Heart. Northeast quarterfinal, Mount Sacred Heart, 2.3, total 133 and a twentieth. And we have two and a half and one twenty eight and a half. Um, I'll take the over. Tulsa, South Florida. My line is USF seven point eight total one forty four and a half, and it's thirteen and a half and one forty five and a half. I'm gonna take Tulsa getting all those points. Richmond, St. Joe's. My line is Richmond one point eight total one forty one and three quarters. And. We have one and a half and one forty three and a half. Um, slide under. UMass Decane. My line is Decane five point three to one forty three and a quarter, and it's eleven and a half and one forty eight and a half. That's very high. Whoo! Six and a half point differential. And the under's good too, but um, I love UMass getting all those points. That's a way too many points. George Washington and Davidson. My line is Davidson by four, twelve and forty six and seven tenths, and it's seven and a half and one forty nine and a half. Um, I'm gonna take George Washington getting the points. That's a lot. Fordham, George Mason. My line is George Mason two point eight, twelve one thirty eight and seventeen twentieths, and it's three and a half and one thirty seven and a half. Um. I'm going to take a slide over. 7.30. OVC first round. Lindenwood, Southeast Missouri State. From the Ford Center. My line is Southeast Missouri State by 8. Total 149 and a quarter. And it's 6.5 and, and 147.5. Um, I'm going to take the slide over. Sam Houston, Stephen F. Austin, my Stephen F. Austin, 3.7, total 138. And it's essentially a pick 'em. Stephen F. Austin by a half, total 133 and a half. Um, I'm going to take the over, though. Oklahoma at number 11, Kansas State at 8 o'clock. My line is Kansas State 8.3, total 139 and a quarter. I'm sorry, at 920s, I read that wrong again. And it's six and a half and one forty and a half. Um, I'm gonna do a slight lean to Kansas State. Big South first round from the bow in Charlotte. Presbyterian Campbell. My line's Campbell eleven point three total one thirty four and nine twentieths. And it is seven and a half and one twenty seven and a half. Um, over. Lamar Nichols, my line is Nichols 13, total 145 and 17 twentieths. And we have 14 and a half and 147 and a half. Um, hmm. I'll take a slight under. Southeast Louisiana, Houston Christian. My line's uh, Southeast Louisiana, four and a half, total 156 and two fifths. And it's three and a half and 162 and a half. I'll take the under. Texas Arlington, Utah Valley. My line is Utah Valley 16, total 137 and 3 twentieths. And it's 12 and a half and 135 and a half. I'll lay it with Utah Valley. New Orleans McNeese at 8.30. My line is New Orleans 1.2, total 148 and 3 twentieths. And it's McNeese 2 and a half, total 149 and a half. Give me New Orleans plus the 2 and a half and plus 125 to win. Fox Sports 1, Georgetown, Creighton. My line's Creighton, 18, 7, total 145 and 19, 20. It's in the 17 and a half and 146 and a half. Very, very close. I'm going to do a slight lean to Creighton. Number 9, Texas. Number 22, TCU, 9 o'clock on ESPN 2. You could argue this is the game of the night as well. Um, 
You have two really good ones tonight. I project Texas by a half total 145 and 17 twentieths. And TCU's favorite by two and a half total was 149 and a half. Um, I'm going to take the under. Chicago State Gonzaga. Or I should say number 10 Gonzaga. Violence Gonzaga 38, total 149 and 13 twentieths. And we have 27 and a half and 152 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay with Gonzaga. Tulane and East Carolina on ESPNU. My line's uh, Tulane 8.3, total 148 and 9 twentieths. And we have 6 and a half and 154 and a half. I'll take the under gladly. AM Corpus Christi and AM Commerce. My line is Corpus Christi 6.3, so 146 and 9 tenths. And it's 4.5 and, and 147.5. And I'll do slightly into Corpus Christi. Incarnate Word and Northwestern State. My line's Northwestern State 12.8, total 145 and a tenth. And it's 11.5 and, and 140.5. Over. Penn State Northwestern on the Big Ten Network. My line's Northwestern by 7, total 135 and 3 quarters. And it's 3 and a half and 133 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay the points with Northwestern. Missouri LSU on the SEC Network. My line is Missouri 3.7, total 145 and 19 20. It's and it's 4 and a half and 148 and a half under. Rhode Island, Loyola, Chicago, and CBS Sports Network. Lines, Rhode Island, 5.3, total 137 and 9 tenths. And it's 4.5 and, and 135.5. And um, I'll take the over. Grand Canyon and Southern Utah. My line is Grand Canyon by 1, total 146.5. And, and we have Southern Utah, 5.5, total 150.5. Um, I think the wrong team's favor. Give me Grand Canyon plus the points and plus 184 to win. Seattle, Utah Tech. My line is Seattle by 7, total 144, and a fifth. And we have 1.5 and 147.5. One 1.5 half in favor of Utah Tech. Give me Seattle plus 1.5 and plus 108 to win. OVC first round, 10 o'clock. Southern Indiana, SIU Edwardsville from the fourth center. My line is Edwardsville 2.7, total 149 and three quarters. And it's one and a half and 151 and a half. Um, I'll take the slight under. Texas, Rio Grand Valley, Cal Baptist, Mons Baptist 9.2, total 144 and seven twentieths. And it's 10 and a half and 147 and a half. I'll take the under gladly. And last but not least, 11 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, Utah State, UNLV. My line is Utah State, 0. 0.7, total 144 and 7 tenths. And it's 2.5 and, and 148.5. And I'll gladly take the under. All right, now move on to the NBA. Um, We'll go over the slate from yesterday, and today is a busy one. As well. All right, Wizards over the Hawks, 119-116. Bucks over the Nets, 118-104 for their 15th straight win. Raptors over the Bulls, 104-898. Grizzlies over the Lakers, 121-109. Nuggets over the Rockets, 133-112. Kings over the Thunder, 123-117. Pacers over the Mavs, 124-122. Spurs beat the Jazz, 102-94 as their 16-game losing streak finally comes to an end. Warriors over the Trailblazers, 123-105. And the Timberwolves over the Clippers, 108-101. I don't think the Clippers have won since they got Russell Westbrook. Could be wrong there. Um, all right. A nine-gamer tonight. 7 o'clock, you have the Suns and the Hornets. The return of Kevin Durant. His first game in a Phoenix Suns uniform. Should be fun. My projection is the Suns by six and a quarter to the one, uh, 227 and a half, and it's 10 and 229 and a half. Give me Charlotte plus the points. Oh, my Lord. Um, 
the Bulls and the Pistons. My line is the Bulls four and a half total two twenty eight and a tenth, and it's five and a half and two twenty three and a half. I'll take the over. Seven thirty. ESPN. Cavs Celtics. My line Celtics by six total two twenty one and a twentieth, and it's five and two nineteen and a half. Slide over. Sixers Heat. My line is Sixers by a half total two twenty and three tenths, and it's Sixers by two total two fifteen and a half. I'll take the over. Nets Knicks. My line is Knicks three and a half total two twenty. Ooh, I forgot to do an adjustment here. So. Um, it should have three and a half, but it's actually seven and a half. Um, let me just confirm that real quick. It's actually Knicks by nine, total 226 and three fifths. And it's seven and a half and 223. I'll take the over. Eight o'clock, Grizzlies, Rockets. My line is the Grizzlies two and three quarters, total 228 and a 20th. And we got. 10 and 229. Woo! Give me the Rockets getting 10. Oh, baby. Oh, ho. Magic Bucks. Bucks going for 16 straight. Mons Bucks 12 and a quarter total 224 and 19 20. It's at a 7 half and 224 and a half. That's low. I'm laying the money with the or the, the points of the box. I mean, you know, Giannis. But we'll see. Um, Lakers Thunder. My line is the Thunder 3 and 3 quarters total 234 and. 13 twentieths, and it's 1 and 229 and a half. I'll take the over. Can't believe I'm taking the over in a Thunder game, but here we are. Um, 10 o'clock, ESPN, Pelicans, Blazers. My line is the Pelicans, I'm sorry, Portland, 2 and a quarter, total 229 and a tenth, and it's 1 and a half and 232 and a half. I'll take the under. All right, now I'll move on to hockey. We'll go over results from yesterday and look ahead to... Tonight's slate. Senators over the Red Wings again, 6-1. Whew. Panthers over the Lightning, 4-1. Blue Jackets over the Sabres, 5-3. Wild over the Isles, 2-1. Shootout. Penguins over the Preds, 3-1. Kraken over the Blues, 5-3. Kings over the Jets, 6-5. And a shootout's the best bet, easily won. Coyotes over the Blackhawks, 4-1. Bruins over the Flames, 4-3 in overtime. And the Habs over the Sharks, 3-1. All right, six games tonight, 7.30, TNT, Rangers, Flyers, the debut of Patrick Kane, Showtime on Broadway. Should be a fun one in Philly. Um, the Rangers are minus 220, the Flyers are plus 180, over under six, minus 120, Rangers minus one half is plus 114, Flyers plus one half is minus 140, I love the over. I think there's a chance with Kane now wearing uh, a Rangers sweater. Um, Rangers could do this by themselves. I think this is could be a 5-2 Ranger win. 8 o'clock, Maple Leafs, Oilers. Leafs minus 134, Oilers plus 112, over under 6.5. Overs minus 140, unders plus 114. Leafs minus 1.5 is plus 186, Oilers plus 1.5 is minus 235. Um, I think this is an opportunity for the Oilers to get a big win at home. I'm going to take them plus 112 against Toronto. 8.30, Coyote Stars. Stars minus 375. Coyotes plus 290. Over under 5.5. Overs minus 134. Unders plus 110. Coyotes plus 1.5 is plus 118. Stars minus 1.5 is minus 142. I'm going to take the Coyotes on the puck line. Plus 1.5 and plus 118. 9 o'clock, Devils Avalanche. Abs minus 130. Devils plus 108. Over under 6. Overs minus 106. Unders minus 114. Devils plus 1.5 is minus 230. Avs minus one half is plus one eighty four. I like the over. Don't have the ball to take the Devils, even though they're going for like nine in a row. Oh no, that streak ended. I didn't realize that their winning streak ended. Um, but I wanted to take New Jersey there on the road, but I didn't have the ball to do it. Cap stocks at ten. Capitals minus two hundred. Ducks plus one sixty two. Over under six and a half. Overs even money. Unders minus one twenty two. Caps minus one half is plus one thirty six. Ducks plus one half is minus one fifty four. I like the over. 
And on TNT tonight, Hurricanes, Golden Knights. This is a really fun doubleheader. The second game's the better game. But Kane's debut with the Rangers is big. Um, Carolina minus 142. Vegas plus 118. Over under 5.5. Overs minus 118. Unders minus 104. Kane's minus 1.5 is plus 72. Vegas plus 1.5 is minus 15. I like Vegas plus 118 to win as a home underdog. All right. Baseball spring training. We'll go over the results from yesterday. And we'll look ahead. To today. Um, Rays over the Yankees, 12 0. Twins over the Braves, 10 7. Pirates over the Orioles, 7 4. Cards over the Nats, 5 3. Phils over the Jays, 7 2. Blue Jays over the Tigers, 6 4. Astros over the Mets, 8 4. Angels over the A's, 11 5. Reds over the Dodgers, 7 1. Rangers over the Rockies, 6 4. Royals over the Guardians, 12 6. Padres over the Giants, 7 5. White Sox over the D backs, 4 1. Brewers over the Cubs, 6 3. Mariners over the Guardians, 9 8. And Red Sox over the Marlins, 7 2. All right, 1 o'clock ESPN, Nationals, Yankees. Um, we have Red Sox, Astros, Phillies, Twins, Rays, Braves, Blue Jays, Orioles, Pirates, Tigers, Mets, Marlins. 2 o'clock, Brewers, Angels. 3 o'clock, D-backs, Giants. Guardians, White Sox, Dodgers, Rangers, A's, Reds, Mariners, Cubs, Royals, Rockies, and Rangers, Padres today. And I want to see if... Um, Oh, the totals aren't up. It's just um, spring training money lines on FanDuel. I want to see if totals are up on DraftKings because if you bet overs right now um, in spring training, you must be making yourself a lot of money. Um, no, no totals. It's just money lines. Um, all right, now I'll move on to soccer from yesterday. We'll go over the results and we'll look ahead to anything that's going on today. Um, so, English FA Cup. Results from yesterday. Um, Brighton over Stoke, 1 0. Blackburn over Leicester, 2 1. Fulham over Leeds, 2 0. And Man City over Bristol City, 3 0. Um, four games today, 2 15. You have Southampton and Grimsby Town, um, which is an interesting one. Um, Southampton's minus 410, Grimsey plus 850, draw plus 440. I like the draw plus 440 a lot. Um, Burnley and Fleetwood Town at 230. Um, Burnley's minus 550, Fleetwood's 11 to 1, the draw's plus 490. Um, this is a hard one. Um, both of these teams have been hot. Fleetwood Town's playing great, but the line suggests that Burnley's been so much better. We're going to go under two and a half goals at plus 112. 245, Man United, West Ham. Man United minus 180, West Ham plus 470, drop plus 270. Um, it's hard to go against Man United. Um, I'm going to go under two and a half goals at minus 116. And then 255, Sheffield United in Tottenham. Um, Tottenham's minus 155 on the road. Sheffield's plus 380, drop plus 270. Um, Tottenham's kind of uh, put their um, foot on the gas a little bit here. Um, I like under two and a half goals at minus 108, though. As a pick. All right, Serie A from yesterday. Um, Carmen S.A. over AS Roma 2-1 and Juventus over Torino 4-2. Cope de France, Lion over Grenoble, 2-1, round of 16. And then today of three, you have Nantes and Lens. Um, Lens minus 150, Nantes plus 370, the draw is plus 260. 
Um, lens is better right now. Um, a little over two and a half goals at minus 116. 12.45, Toulouse and Rodez. Aveyron. Toulouse minus 390. Rodez, 8 to 1 draw, plus 440. I'm going under two and a half goals at plus 126. And at 3 o'clock, you have Marcial and Antsy. Um, Marcial minus 900. Antsy, 14 to 1 the draws, plus 650. I'm going to go over three and a half goals at minus 108. Um, and then English League Championship from last night, Preston and Coventry, nil-nil draw, and Luton, Millwall, 2-2 two, two, draw. English Premier League today, 245 Arsenal and Everton. Um, Arsenal's minus 320, Everton's 10-1, the, the draws plus 410. Arsenal's playing good soccer right now. Um, I'm going to go over two and a half goals at minus 116. At three o'clock, you have Liverpool and Wolves. Liverpool's minus 190. Wolves is five to one. The draws plus 320. I'm going to go with under two and a half goals at plus 110. Alrighty. Um, I'm just double checking if. We missed anything. Um, um, Europa round of 16 will begin on the 9th. The CONSASAF, um Champions League. We begin on the 7th with a lot of MLS teams, which is going to be a lot of fun. So, that's it for soccer today. Now we'll move on to golf. Um, I'm going to look at tee times and I'm going to make a pick for the Arnold Palmer Invitational. All right, 7 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Um, Callum Tarrin, um, Justin Lauer, and Tyson Alexander, 7.05. Adam Shank, Sam Ryder, and Min Woo Lee, 7.11. Pat Gazir, Joseph Rumlet, and Seung Hun Kim, 7.16. Seath Iglia, Alex Naren, and Bang On, 7.22. Wyndham Clark, Adam Putnam, and Lee Hodges. 727, Alex Molly, Taylor Moore, and Thomas Dietrich. 733, Stuart Sink, Aaron Weiss, and Kyung Goo Lee. 738, Scotty Scheffler, Justin Thomas, and Matt Fitzpatrick. 744, Sai Kim, Robert Bryman, Cam Davis. 749, Sam Burns, Jordan Spieth, Chris Kirk. 755, Taylor Hoag, Zach Johnson, Harry English. 8 o'clock, Will Zalatoris, Victor Hovland, Jason Day. 806, Adam Sebson, Nate Taylor, Luke List. 811, Seamus Power, Sun J M, and Cam Young. 817, Lucas Herbert, Lucas Donald, and Russell Hanley, 822, JJ's one, Trey Molinax, and Lucas Glover, 828, Christian Ziedenhout, Ryan Palmer, and Ryan Fox, 833, Alex Baddeley, Scott Stillings, and Davis Lipsky, 839, Justin Sue, Cole Hammer, and Greg Koch, 844, Aaron Ray, Thriston Lawrence, and Pierce Hassan Kuti. Um, second session, 11.50, um, Brian Harmon, Dylan Lingworth, and Davis Thompson. 11.55, Davis Riley, Trey Merritt, and Taylor Montgomery. 12.01, Hayden Buckley, Keith Mitchells, and Patrick Rogers. 12.06, Ben Taylor, Danny Willett, and Padraig Harrington. 12.12, Ben Griffin, Grayson Sieg, and Taylor Pendrith. 12.17, Matthew Neesmith, Robbie Shelton, and Will Gordon. 12.23, Seb Straka, Webb Simpson, and Kevin Kisner. 12.28, Colin Murakawa, Xander Shoffley, and John Rahm. 12.34, Chesar V, Tony Fina, Mackenzie Hughes. 12.39, Ricky Fowler, Justin Rose, Patrick Cantlay. 12.45, Shane Lowry, Joel Dom, and Grayson Higo. 12.50, Max Homa, Rory McIlroy, Tyrell Hatton. 12.56, Martin Larbet, Horschel, Brendan Todd. 101, 
Hideki Matsuyuma, Adam Scott, and Tom Kim. 107, Tommy Fleetwood, Corey Connors, Adam Hadwin, 112, Gary Woodland, Francesco Molinari, Keegan Bradley, 118, Kurt Katayama, Charlie Hoffman, Emiliano Grillo, 123, Kevin Sterling, Bill Hostler, Pino Malati, 129, Nate Hardy, Kyle Westmoreland, and Kamiyu Johnson, 134, Eric Cole, Adrian Moronk, and Lavig Aberg. So that's it for the tee times. I have a pick in mind. This is somebody that's had a decent track record at this course. And um, I'm going to swing for defenses a little bit here. I don't think this is somebody I usually pick to win these types of tournaments. Um... And we also have the Puerto Rico Open, too. Um, we're going to do that next. Um, so the Arnold Palmer Invitational. The guy I'm going to pick is 70-1. to 1. Tommy Fleetwood. Yes. It's a longer shot. I'm going to lay a tenth of a unit on it. So Tommy Fleetwood to win the 2023 Arnold Palmer Invitational. And now the Puerto Rico Open. Um, we're just going to go through some notable names in here. Um, 621, Ben Crane, Ryan or Moore. Um, 632, Cam Piercy. 643, Nate Lashley, Sam Piercy, Joaquin Herman. 654, Hank Lebiota, Bryce Garnett, Brian Stewart, 705, Andrew Novak, Scott Brown, 716, Brian Matthews, um, 727, Nicholas Echevarria, um, 738, Brent Grant, Scott Stallings, 749, um, nobody of note, really, 1040, Henrik Norlander, DJ Tran, Camilo of Vegas, um, Matt Trainer, Chris Stroud. 1051, Nate Watney, Wesley Bryant, Taylor Ganey. 1102, Grayson Chalmers, Bo Van Pelt, Kyle Stanley. 1113, Richie Wierenski, Evan Van Royen, Andrew Landry, Sean O'Hare. 1124, um, Jason Duffner. 1135, NJ Dauphé, Paul Haley, 1146, Michael Gilgic, um, Scott Stevens, Harry Hall, 1157, Eric Barnes, Estan Goya, 1208, Kevin Roy, Cam Young, um, and that's really it among notables. Um, there's a couple that jumped out, um, I'm going to go with somebody that I think can break out a little bit here onto the scene. Um, this is another long shot. 75 to 1. I'm going to lay a 20th of a unit, though. Michael Gligic. Michael Glajic at 75 to 1 to win the Puerto Rico Open. All right, news and notes. Um, so um, we have more hockey trades. Um, I did the big podcast yesterday after the Rangers got Patrick Kane, and there was a lot of other trades, but here's a stunner. Jonathan Quick traded to the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange for Junis Corposalo. And Vladislav Gavrikov. And L.A. is also sending first and third round picks. So, I like this trade for the Kings. They get some youth there. Um, I know they gave up a lot of picks and such. 
and their longtime franchise goalie. But they had to attach picks to Jonathan Quick. I know they got younger, and they probably got better in the trade. But this must be very uh, tough for Jonathan Quick. Um, I love the trade for L.A. Columbus is just tanking at this point. And you would think that they are going to go with um, Elvis Merzlikens at this point. Patrick Kane made a statement and um, he called the Blackhawks fans um, the greatest fans in the world. Um, Keandre Miller of the Rangers suspended three games for unsportsmanlike conduct on Kings Drew Doughty. He spat on him and he was out three games. Um, I don't think they'll miss him very much in these next two against Flyers and Ottawa, but against Boston, that's brutal. But the question is, were you really beating Boston with them in the regular season? Um, so some baseball news. Um, Gavin Lux out for the year with the torn ACL. Um, brutal for the Dodgers. Um, we talked about him getting injured yesterday and having to get carted off. Um, hopefully he has a, a fine recovery and um, he'll be back sooner rather than later. Um that's a big loss for the Dodgers. Um, Padres pitcher Joe Musgrove hurt in a gym accident as he uh, fractured his toe after a weight room accident on Monday. Oof. That's not great for the Padres. Um, Tyler Glass now in miss six to eight weeks um, after suffering a grade two oblique strain in a bullpen session. That's not great for the race, so he'll be out for opening day. The Braves announce a super elite promotion on for May 25th, an outcast bobblehead. That's awesome. Um, the New York Giants to cut wide receiver Kenny Galladay after signing him to a $72 million deal in 2021. Not surprised that coaching staff does not like him or his attitude. And that's why he only played in that meaningless game against the Eagles. Um, the Bucks are to release Leonard Fournette when the New Year starts on March 15th. That's not surprising. Um, Bengals executive Tuke Tobin slams the T. Higgins trade rumors as it says that the franchise has no intentions of dealing T. Higgins. The trade stuff is a little ridiculous. But then again, um, Dave Gettleman, um, obviously um, uh, former Giants GM, um, said we didn't sign Odell to trade him. Guess what? They traded him. Um, new Titans general manager Rand Carthon speaks on Ryan Tannehill. Right now he's a Titan and he will be a Titan. Um, Aaron Rodgers to decide on future two soon as, um, he says sooner rather than later. And there's full comments in the Aubrey Marcus podcast. LaMelo ball done for the season with a fractured right ankle. Not surprised. Um, they were playing better and then, uh, he got hurt, but, um, now that, uh, they can safely secure their uh, spot in the Victor Wembanyama sweepstakes. We talked about it earlier. Kevin Durant back tonight against the Hornets. Um, Jason Tatum admits to uh, fouling LeBron after a missed call in the game against the Knicks two nights ago. And... Obviously, that call with LeBron, I'm referring to that Saturday ABC game um, against the Lakers on January 28th. Um, the Grizzly social media trolls the Lakers have they clearly haven't forgotten about the Shannon Sharp incident because they're obviously blaming that and the Stephen Adams injury to why they've fallen apart. But guess what? 
your team might be fraudulent anyway. And we saw some flaws. But congratulations, you beat the Lakers without LeBron James, so shut up. Um, and speaking of LeBron, he's likely out um, of action for at least two to three weeks. Um, there's some rumors that he might be out for the season, which would mean hello to the Victor Wembanyama sweepstakes for the New Orleans Pelicans, with courtesy of the Los Angeles Lakers. So, um, yeah. Um, Draymond came back last night against the Blazers after missing a couple of games, and then the Knicks to sign two-way guard Dwayne Washington Jr. So, um, just a, uh, a bench warmer player there. All right, now I'm going to talk about the Masked Singer. Um, we have an episode tonight. Um, on Fox. Um, we have another episode featuring Medusa, who has been incredible. Um, she performed on what was Abba Night, Dancing Queen. Um, I still think it's Fergie. Um, Nicole said Lord, Robin said Apple Martin, and Ken said Dakota Johnson. And the secret clue was a plane ticket, first class, 1996 Tokyo. And obviously first class, um, you think of the song by Jack Carlo, which he took the chorus from Fergie's song, Glamorous. Night Owl. Um, there was a disco ball, a record with a bunch of Zs in the clue package. We, um... I usually don't talk about the clue packages on the uh, recapping the previous episode um, show. I usually do that on the Thursday show. Um, and Night Owl performs Fernando. The celebrity clue we discuss usually, though, um, on the Wednesday show. Uh, Bubblegum Sweet and Bubbly Like Her. Um, and then Rock Lobster performed um, S.O.S., the celeb clue was a, a gable and a great judge of character. Rock Lobster went home first. Um, my first impression guess of Rock Lobster was Richard Belzer, and my final guess was Martin Short. Robin said Steve O. Um, Jenny Nicole said Martin Short. Ken said Howie Mandel, and it was Howie Mandel's. Ken Jung was the first panelist to get an unmasking correct. On the season. And then. Battle Royale was Medusa and Night Owl. On the song was the winner takes it all. Medusa went first. Owl went second. Medusa moves on. Owl went home. My first impression guess. Of Night Owl was Gwen Stefani. Now is my final guess as well. Ken said Sarah Jessica Parker. Robin said Kylie Minogue. Nicole said Belinda Carlisle. And Jenny said Debbie Gibson. Who was it? Debbie Gibson as Jenny gets her for correct guess of the season as well. So Medusa is going to face two more challengers. And I think this is, will be the last of Medusa um, for either the season or until the finale. So we'll find out depending on this episode. My guess would be until the finale because she is incredible. So I'm looking forward to seeing who the... Uh, other two are. All right, Survivor season 44 premieres tonight, 8 o'clock on CBS. Um, so 18 new players. The cast was announced over a month ago uh, from Fiji. Um, they filmed it last June. The tribes are Ratu, Soka, and Tika. Um, so from the Tika tribe, you have Yamil, Yam Yam, Oroko, um, Carson Garrett, Helen Lee, Bruce Perrault, Sarah Wade, and Carolyn Weiger. 
On the Soka Tribe, you have Matt Blankenship, Heidi Lagares Greenblatt, Franny Marin, Danny Mesa, Claire Rofson, and Josh Wilder. And the Ratu Tribe, we have Brandon Cotton, Kate Fritzler, Matthew Grinstead Mayo, Lauren Harp, Maddie Pamela, Jamie Lynn Ruiz. So this is going to be a two-hour episode tonight. Um, we'll obviously recap it on the podcast tomorrow. And oh, by the way, Brandon Cotton of um, the Radu Tribe, former Seattle Seahawks fullback. So um, that's a little of a subplot there from a sports connection standpoint. So it should be a fun episode tonight on Survivor. So Survivor, believe it or not, starting a couple weeks after The Masked Singer. So which would mean the Survivor's going to go longer than The Masked Singer. And last fall, they both started on the same night, but Survivor went two weeks later because I think The Masked Singer had a couple of specials and then they're doing the double eliminations. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, So there was a couple that jumped out. There's a couple of NBA ones that jumped out to me. Um, and there's a couple in hockey that jumped out because there's a lot of, I think, scoot totals. Um, but I feel pretty good about this NBA one. Um, I understand this team's opponent's tanking, but it's just a number. And just for this team to stay inside the number... If this is a wrong pick, I'll boycott tanking teams at all costs. I'm taking the Rockets getting the 10 against the Grizzlies. Um, This is more of a, a pick against the Grizzlies than a pick on the Rockets. This is the second of a back-to-back for Memphis, and they're shit-talking, and I don't think they'll take this young Rockets tanking team seriously. I'm going to take the Rockets plus 10 with the uh, thought that the Grizzlies will only win by 7. So there you have it for the podcast today. And we'll be back tomorrow recapping everything, including the reality TV shows. And hopefully tomorrow I'll have a mock bracket for you guys. Have a great day, everyone.